She's a mammoth, of course. Today I'm reacting to Anne Boleyn's new video about her weight gain. It's not a long one, so let's get into so it. Welcome to a new video. So I'm looking hectic. Like, I. Why do I have a drink right there? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. My brain just like went somewhere else completely. I had this spray sitting on my counter and I'm like, what? I don't remember taking that out, but it was literally yesterday because I accidentally dropped it and I was like, can't open that now because then it'll explode. Anyways. This is giving very crackhead. Like, girl, calm down. Sometimes my brain just goes from like here to there to there to here, but I've been feeling like self conscious with no makeup on. I don't know. It seems like whenever I don't have makeup on, people are just like, damn, you're ugly. And I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? Is this girl okay? She is on one today. But I also kind of feel like she's acting. Like, it doesn't seem like authentic. And the fact that this is somehow considered content is wild. Okay, thank you. So obviously that makes me feel super self-conscious because I already like actually think that. And makeup does make me look better. I know, and when my hair's down and stuff, and like when my hair's up like this, people are like, oh look, the poop bun and I pooped my pants. So, this video is obviously about my weight because so many people are like, Amberlynn, your face is looking a little bit like a moon. Um, Have you stepped on that scale? And I did. I stepped on it over a month ago and I was at my lowest weight. I was at 467. That was actually after I ended up getting cellulitis. I did not tell you guys that, but I did get cellulitis in my, in my lymphedema leg which does happen a few times a year, unfortunately. No matter how clean you are. Cellulitis, I'm pretty sure, is prone to um, people that are larger and not the most hygienic. Obviously, people who don't fall into that category can still get it. However, someone who hasn't bathed or showered in an entire year, I'm sure doesn't have the highest level of personal hygiene. And that isn't gonna help any type of skin infection. It's really easy to get cellulitis in your lymphedema, especially like I, the first time I ever got it, I was 16. So I'm very prone to it now. And I'm telling you, when I get cellulitis, I get super sick. Like the shivers, I literally can't breathe. I have like 103 temperature. My heart's beating super fast. Like I have bad infection. I'm like puking, can't eat for days on end. Before Imagine like dramatizing something you get because you're dirty and don't look after yourself. Cellulitis, I think I was a good like 475. So lost some weight. I always gain weight back like super quickly after I have cellulitis. I don't know what it is, but it literally happens. And then on top of that, I stopped some glutide. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much ozempic. And for a lot of people, especially people my size, like when you stop taking it, like you're gonna gain your weight back nine times out of ten so i knew my appetite was coming back and i was feeling it at the full swing of things like i literally had never felt hungrier in my life and i was like wow this feels very reminiscent because i have done ozempic before and afterwards from my memory i was like i gained a lot of weight back the first like three to four weeks after i quit taking it so i had to go back and i looked and i was right i literally went and watched old vlogs I ended up gaining 30 pounds in three weeks. This is why Amber is the worst. The amount of times she lies and contradicts herself is actually incredible. So you're saying that you stopped taking Ozempic because it wasn't working, but you knew when you stopped, you were gonna gain the weight back. So you'd rather stop the Ozempic and gain all the weight back and more instead of just maintaining the weight you have and then losing weight slowly. And I find it quite interesting that at the exact same time you made this weird decision to stop medication and it all of a sudden stopped working was when you started dating a woman who likes bed-bound, morbidly obese people. And she's only been there a week and everyone can tell you've gained weight. And also to gain weight when you're around 500 pounds, you have to be eating a fucking lot of food. So these feeder allegations are <laughs> not going anywhere anytime soon. The first time I quit was Zumbic. That was like two years ago, I'd say. Like that's hectic, that's a lot of weight. So when I saw that and then I was like seeing the comments where people were like, girl, you're, you're bigger than ever. And it's like, I noticed my weight gain a little bit, um, especially like in my face and like, in my stomach area. So then I started getting into my head and I was like, oh my God, have I gained 30 pounds? Like what happened last time? So anyways, 
I did step on the scale today and I did gain weight. It is correct. I've gained 17 pounds and it's not 30. It's not 30 in three weeks, but it is 17 in about five weeks, which is kind of hectic. I'm not gonna lie. It's so weird when I gain weight, it usually is hardcore stored in my legs at first, but for some reason it's in my face. I don't know, full moon tonight is definitely happening, I'm not gonna lie to you. So my initial reaction was, wow, I'm really proud that I didn't actually gain 30 pounds, I only gained 17, but it's like, that's not a victory. That's not, like I shouldn't have gained weight at all. Not gonna lie, it's actually pretty incredible. This is the first time I think she's ever not being proud of herself or something, because she's always saying she's proud of herself for things that you almost should be ashamed of. So the fact that she's actually admitting that she shouldn't be proud is actually pretty good. But like, I knew stopping semaglutide deep down, it was going to happen because it happened last time. Okay, well, now you're annoying again, because if you knew it was going to happen, why did you do it? Again, I think it's because your feeder girlfriend made you do so it. So I did flirt with the idea of actually going back on some glutide, but I was like, it wasn't really working. It worked for the first few weeks, not for the second. Like when I doubled my dose, it was like my body was like, nah, we ain't gonna actually uh, have that work anymore. So with some glutide, which is pretty much Ozempic, it helps with like your appetite when it comes to like down here. Your down here appetite. I'm explaining this for dummies because it's how it had to be explained to me. So it's how I can explain it the best. But there is another weight loss injection, which is Monjuro. Um, the compounded version or off-brand version or whatever it's called starts with a T. I'm not quite remembering it right now, but it helps with the receptors down here, but also in your brain. And that's one I've never done before. So my girlfriend Tommy was like, try that, like try that instead. No, she didn't. Why even try lie? Like she did not say that. And the way that her eyes like dart to the side. I just feel like she's lying. Because that is another option because I was like, some glutide's not working. Like and when I first wanted to quit some glutide, she was like, don't keep going, keep going. My mom was like, don't keep going, keep going. And I was like, um, I'm not going to listen to anyone but myself. This is why you have no friends. No one likes you and you'll never change. And you are the train wreck you are. But now that I'm realizing like I gained my weight back so fast. That's not what I want for my life. Like, I don't want to gain weight. That's not what I want. It might not be what you want, but it's what your girlfriend wants. And I think what you want is to be able to enjoy the high of overeating. And I think that's why you got off Ozempic, is because you would rather be the way you are and enjoy the high of overeating than actually eat healthy food and lose weight and coincidentally your girlfriend wants you to be morbidly obese so that's probably why it's perfect for each other i like having better mobility i like having better stamina i like being able to move more and be more fluid in my movement and i like going out and then like, doing things and i don't like my face to look so puffy so my girlfriend was like how would i try manjuro with you and i was like you literally don't need it like you literally don't so no thank you i appreciate the support if she wants to eat healthier with me or like count calories like sure but i don't want her to like go on a whole ass medicine just to support me because i feel like she can do that in like several different ways and like actually starting a medication because that's a lot but i just thought that was sweet of her so me going back on a weight loss injection is definitely something i am really truly thinking about because i think i need it gaining weight it's what i do like you guys saw the first video i've ever posted since then i'm up like a hundred and like 20 pounds my name's in berlin and i wanted to start um a youtube channel for weight loss i see a lot of videos of other people doing it and it's so motivating. The facial expressions and the low BMI voice is so nostalgic and so funny. It seems like every single diet that I do, if I am successful on it, I'm successful. But then the minute I stop it, I gain back weight, gain back even more weight. And it's just been a vicious cycle my whole life. It's so interesting how someone can be so stupid. Like, I do this thing and it works. And then I stop doing it and it doesn't work? Like, are you fucking dumb? 
just keep doing the thing that works. Like literally since I was 11. It's just something I've constantly struggled with. So what I'm gonna do now is literally just get back to the basics. I'm just gonna count calories. Like calories in, calories out. It's literally that simple sometimes. I'm gonna allow myself what I want to eat. I have a calorie goal of how much I wanna eat in a day. So what does that mean for like my channel and what do you expect? I'm gonna call it now because I swear this whole thing is just to shut people up about her gaining weight. I don't think she has any intention of losing weight at all. I think she's enjoying being love bombed, getting high from eating too much, and that's kind of all her life consists of, honestly. But I guess we just have to wait and see. I'm gonna update you guys randomly, maybe do some what I ate today videos, some weigh in videos. I'm just gonna adjust as I go. Um, whether that be with my calories, what I'm eating, the type of content I wanna put up on my channel. It's very Amberlynn coded. Go with the flow. But one thing for sure, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on the weight loss, not giving up on my YouTube channel. Like, you guys, so many of you are like, Amberlynn, you're my comfort. That's where I know to go when I just need like similarity in my life, which, you know, we. I'll take that as a compliment, but that really just means that I haven't changed much. Like my content, always been the same. My weight loss journeys, always been the same. I do like being in people's comfort, like in that way, that means a lot. But sometimes I'm like, do I need to switch it up a little bit? And I don't really know how I would actually, but if you guys have some advice, definitely let me know. I Go on some form of Ozempic and lose weight. That's literally it. Oh, and maybe dump your feet a girlfriend. I actually literally have no idea what I'm talking about at this point. I'm kind of like rambling. There's a siren going on outside. I think it's a cue that I need to end my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Considering the past couple of weeks we've had, that was so boring. I'm sorry you had to sit through that. <laughs> Hopefully next video is better. Do you think she's going to keep gaining? Because I sure do. There ain't no way she's going to be losing weight anytime soon. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. <laughs>